are so pleased to be here and to be able to join with ABC to present the presentations and the fascinating questions and discussion that you're going to hear tonight. An emancipated engineer will combine art and physics to make structures really beautiful and lift your building. And after all, architecture is a structure. But we try and think a bit further forward than that. How do we make decisions in the way we build that are good for society? Stone is typically stronger than concrete and doesn't suffer from shrinkage and creep in the way that concrete does. In some cases, reaching strengths comparable with steel, there's really no limit to how far we can go. He's the engineer, I'm the stonemason. As any material which is finite, because stone of course is a low carbon footprint material, but if we use it with respect and if we reuse it, we will dismantle the buildings and reuse again and again, we can make this material go a lot further than what we are doing with it now. Obviously we need stone, and we're using a, theoretically it's a non-renewable resource. The stone is 150 million years old. So as we take it out of the ground, we need to make sure that we're using it in a very responsible way. Quarries also can be refilled and renaturalized. Nature really takes it over quickly once we throw a little bit of topsoil on that. And these quarries that were barren before, they really give areas for new biodiversity. We could not be here at a more imperative time. With the climate crisis the way it is, I feel like the people in this room can singularly make a change and can educate and can make sure that everybody understands what is possible.